Okay, I am over here at Jade's base. I have no idea what video this is going to go in. It might go in the next one. It might not go in until the one after that or the one after that. Because I'm not putting this in a video and... Uh, I'm not putting this in a video until uh, Jade's actually found the prank. Oh good, the storm's ending. You can burn. No, because the sun's going down. <sighs> anyway, this is a prank I wanted originally to do on the last world, but I left it too late. Because this prank is going underground. And the nature of it is such that it kind of has to be done before Jade does any significant amounts of digging, because the whole point is that she discovers it by digging. And that's why I don't know how long it'll be before she finds it, and therefore how long it'll be before this actually goes in a video. But anyway, let's get started. The final stage of the prank was to go into swim mode and travel around in the one block high gap above all the wool and fill it all in with stones so that it was invisible, even to camera accounts. So the only way Jade could find it was to actually dig to it. And she did! And she said I can use her reaction in my video, so hello phantoms. Or Phantom Singular. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, Jade's reaction. Hello, world. My name is Magic Jade. I am standing outside of the portal to my base. Now, I've been told that my base has been pranked. Sork has done something. I don't know what he's done. Um, so, for context, the Slipgator fan server has been running for four worlds now, and for three of them, I've pranked him about four or five times, and he's never really retaliated. So, this is basically <laughs> this is basically my comeuppance. This is long overdue karma that is waiting for me on the other side of this portal. Now, the only thing I really know, and I don't even know if he actually means it, is that he's told me that it's a, quote, slow burn. I don't know if he means that literally, so for safety reasons, I've dropped off all of my gear, because I don't want to lose any of that, and I have a couple of fire resistance potions. That's actually just out of um, convenience, because I had to travel from my spawn townhouse over to here, and it's a netherrack bridge with ghasts that shoot me at least once when I try to come over here from spawn town or vice versa. So this this was just a convenience thing that I happened to have fire resistance potions. So let's see what awaits me. Let's see what long overdue karma I have coming. Hopefully there are no mobs on here. Okay. I'm holding shift. This is Jade's base, but nobody came. I wonder if anyone else came too? Oh dear. Um, Undertale reference. So... I'm holding shift. I'm not seeing anything yet. Doot, 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 holding shift. This is my lovely ghetto starter house, by the way. Let's see. What the heck did he do? What if it's nothing? <laughs> what if he just put those two signs on my base? No, I know that he was working on something for hours. I wanted to come on here earlier, but, uh... <laughs> Alright, sorry. Enderman scared the... Ah. Out of me. You will have to edit that out, Mr. Sork. The only thing I have going on... At this base besides my house... No. That's a entrance that leads to cave spiders direct. So he he wouldn't do anything with those though. He put the signs on this side. This is Jade's base, but nobody I don't want to cheat and use Jade Cam. What the heck did you do to my base, man? I'm terrible at reading clues. Even if they're Undertale ones, which, you know... Oh great, there's a bad hombre over there. Alright, I'm actually gonna... I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm gonna go back to the other side get my gear, and I'm going to have to do some further exploring, because I, I just, I'm not seeing anything like, push this button, or do this other thing, and I'm like, which is what I was kind of half expecting. So let me put all this back on. 
I still have Sork's uh, pick from the Easter egg hunt from Last World. Got that as a prize. You wrote the signs on this fence gate, so I'm assuming whatever he did, it's got to be over here somewhere. I am way off, I have a feeling. Let me let me go check the cave over there and make sure that it's not over there. I don't think so. I have a feeling. I have a very sneaking suspicion that whatever he's done, it's got to be in this area. But I want to rule out that possibility that it's over here. Do, 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 do. I swear if he's done anything over here, though, he's dead. Yeah, best fence forever. Those are some cave spiders that are literally at the bottom of those stairs. I haven't taken them out quite yet. Oh, uh, Let's see. Here's the thing, I don't want to dig down. Because that's like rule number one in Minecraft, never dig straight down. I'm just waiting for the one block that I like walk over. and I fall into a pit or something. Well, I thought this recording would be a lot shorter than it was. I... I think I have to dig. I don't think that there's... I'm gonna do that though, I need torches. Trying to look for that one out of place thing, and I'm not, except for those signs. I have to be really careful about this because, um. I haven't explored the mine shaft that's below my base. So I don't want to run into, you know, my best friends during this video, because that would not be a good time. Where am I? I got a bit. Oh, God. All right. Um... This is a piece of carpet. <laughs> Pieces of carpet do not naturally spawn <laughs> in uh, caves. Oh god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> What the heck did you do? Um... Okay... <laughs> I'm scared. What the he Okay. Okay, it's a solid wool block. Um, I swear to God, if this is like a big build of like Jerry from Undertale, you are dead. 
I'm just saying right now, Sork. I have hacks. <laughs> How big is this thing? See, I'm afraid to... Like, one of these is like carpet or something? Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, I found the outline. So that's good. You know, I remember him saying he needed, like, a bunch of black wool. And I gave that wool to him. So... I gave you materials for your prank? Is that what is that what this is? Like my question is how did you even do this without running into all this gravel? You must have done this from underneath and just picked a spot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna finish digging this out off camera. And then I will turn the recording back on. Because th this is not going to be very interesting to watch. I, I don't care who you are. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm back. And I have not finished digging this out. But I don't need to. Now, um... Because I figured it out. This right here, um, I can dig a little farther this way. I have not summoned Jade Cam on here yet, but you, <laughs> I have words for you that, um, I just. I want to see if my suspicions are correct. Because I'm thinking, you know, at first I thought, oh, this looks like an amalgamite. Or, um... Maybe Sork distorted his own face. But no. Oh no. He's built something f far worse. And I, you know, I said it at the beginning, you know, if you built Jerry, you're dead. This is Jerry. I'm I'm almost positive. I've been kind of comparing um, some screenshots. So I guess in some sense I, I did use a little bit of outside help. Um, but that is the far antenna. That's the top one, I believe. This pattern is on his head. This is here. I mean, if you compare a Jerry image online to this right here, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this is Jerry. You are so dead. Oh my god. You think this pranking business is over? Like, I didn't actually build Jerry on your base. I didn't, I didn't even go that far. All right, um, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. I don't want to wear down my fortune pick. Um, yeah. F5. You, sir, are a jerk. Jerry from Undertale? Really? Really? You're going down, son. Apparently, I wasn't content doing five and three quarter hours of digging to prank Jade, because I've been, I have no idea how long I've spent digging here, to flatten out my base area and replace the floor with grass. The grass is nearly all grown in, um, this is the after, and 
this is the before. So you can see how much it's changed. Now, a few notes about this. Obviously, you can see the edge is very jagged. This is because I followed the biome border. And the biome border is frankly a mess. Now, I have an idea to improve this, and it's going to be a benefit for two reasons. One is it will give me slightly more land again. I mean, I've already expanded this thing by going out to the edge of the biome, but I can get even more land by doing this. The other is that it will smooth out the edges. And that's to do some extension out into the ocean. Now, with this one, if I put the sea lantern at sea level, where the smooth stone blocks currently are, then I will get an extra seven blocks before we hit like level seven, which needs to be on the edge of the mushroom biome. If I do this, which I think will look nicer, having the light just under the water, so these will be the smooth stone blocks, then we'll have the sea lanterns, and then I'm thinking maybe strip birch. I've got a lot of birch. I've got a lot of birch. This looks surreal. Um, I mean, by definition, it's unnatural to have them in a grid like this, but because there's just so many, it looks really weird. Um, this will only get me four blocks, which is fine. It will do smoothing for a lot of the edges, but I have to be very careful with this. This is going to take a lot of figuring out. Yes, I know, server. It's not as simple as I can go four blocks further out everywhere, because, for example, here, I can go four blocks out here. Let me just demonstrate. I can go four blocks here. One, two, three, four. And I can go four blocks here. One, two, three, four. Well, you'd think that means I can straighten this off completely. No, I can't, because that is more than four blocks away from this, which means these blocks and these blocks would be dark, and possibly these blocks as well. And that's no good, because these are outside the mushroom biome. So I would have to calculate very carefully where the edge is actually going to be. Seven blocks gives me a lot more leeway in that regard, um, but would have the same thing I'd have to be careful of. And if you'll just excuse me, I need to leave the server because it's about to restart. So yeah, anyway, this is my little temporary house that's made of mushrooms. It's not bad because I threw it together. Um, I've got the mushrooms all gathered up from the island over here. Uh, the beacon needs to come down because I'm done with the digging. And the stone pillar over there is... Um, that one is kind of the center of where the base will be based on like the middle of the land that's here um, the other thing that's worth mentioning is that I've got a skeleton spawner that I've made a ghetto little farm out of it's over this way and that's what I've been using to repair my tools rather than having to go all the way back to like spawn to use the guardian farm. Uh, it's over here. So I've just got a ghetto little skeleton spawner and making that look better might be something I do in this episode, but I don't know if I'll bother right now because like it's functional. It works, you know. Um, there's there's nothing like special here. It's just skeleton spawner. And as you can see, I've got loads of stuff out of it. Loads of gold and chain armor. The gold armor I can melt down. Um, bows, bones, stuff. So, yeah, that's sort of the state of affairs for my base at the moment. I am going to repair my spade and see you in a bit. We have a problem. This block here. I hate this block. Well, not the block. It's not the block, it's the piece of the world that the block is in. Um, I hate it with every fibre of my being, because it's five blocks away from the ocean here. Which means not only can I not extend this out further, but I can't even extend it this far. I'd have to lock this block off. And it's a perfectly good bit of Mushroom Island. Okay, so maybe instead of doing the four block thing, I can do the seven block thing. I prefer the four block one. I think it'll be more interesting. Guess how many blocks it is this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
This block was designed by Satan himself, I am sure. Because it's completely on its own, single-handedly, there are probably others like it, but this block is the one I found, and single-handedly it has ruined all of my plans. So, I have options. I can cut back the island. I can not extend four blocks out all the way around. Okay, honestly, probably the option I'm going to go with because it's the most practical. But I hate to waste the potential land. The alternative is I have a light source here, or somewhere around here, which I don't really want to do because I'd like the light to be only the edge and then the entire interior to be dark. Although the entire interior won't be because I'll have structures that I'll build, whatever I end up doing for my base, and those will probably be lit, or at least have light coming out of them. So maybe it won't be so bad. I could put a light source around here to cover the area that would be dark and not Mushroom Island. So maybe I'll go with that. Uh, the other option is I leave this as it is and have a really janky bit of shoreline. And I'm like, no, that's that's the one option I'm definitely not going with. So... Uh, maybe I'll do a poll. I'm leaning towards go out four blocks all around, smooth out the island and use a bit of internal lighting. That's what I'm leaning towards, but maybe I'll put a poll in the corner and the one person who watches this can vote on which option they prefer out of cut the land back or have some lighting in land. Um, those are the options I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep. I'm not going to make the island come in like that just for this. No. I might shave a corner off. I'm not going to let it be completely janky. Not happening. Um, I've got a lot of birch. I raced it last night. I was like, can I cut all of these down while they're still regrowing? And I managed to. It's not that hard. Just have to get on with it. Um, obviously, I could cheat and not replant, and that would make my job even easier. But, yeah, that's... To be honest, this is probably going to be it for this episode. It might be shorter. I have no idea how much I'm going to cut of Jade's reaction. Probably quite a lot, but I have no idea at this point how long it's going to be. I haven't edited it yet. But this has been... Well, it's been hours. It was five and three quarter hours just doing the prank on Jade. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been... I haven't recorded all of it, but it's been a lot of time. So, just to finish off... Jade, you created a side torch. You're a terrible person. The blame lies with the person who makes it a side torch, not with the person who placed the torch. Um, and she's been AFK at the drowned farm, and she's gotten a few extra tridents, so she's given me a spare one, which is really nice of her, especially after I pranked her. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of chests full of a lot of stone and a lot of mycelium. I'm never going to run out of mycelium. I could probably sell it again like I did last world. Wait, no, I didn't. I definitely didn't have a black market mushroom shop. Definitely didn't. Nope. But that is going to be it for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, share, favour and comment, help support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date what's going on. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>